There is a simple way of doing this. Um, it's kind of a dumb way to do it. Uh, it doesn't use scientific notation, but it, it helps you determine the amount of significant figures in a relatively quirky way. If I take any of these numbers and I pretend that the number is the United States of America, the part of the continent. So if I take 510 grand, if I take the number and I pretend that it is the United States of America, so uh, I don't know what this looks like. I, I don't know if it looks like a, like a, I don't know, it's just a shape. But over here it's supposed to be California, that's supposed to be Maine, Florida, Texas. This is the Atlantic Ocean, this is the Pacific Ocean. And so some of your chemistry teachers might have told you the Atlantic Pacific rule. And it helps us determine significant figures by scanning the number from left to right or right to left. If the decimal is present, you scan it from the Pacific side and read towards the Atlantic side. If the decimal is absent, you read it from the Atlantic side and towards the Pacific side. And when I mean present, it's physically gotta be written. Because some people are like, well, there's a decimal there. I know, but it's not actually written. So it's absent. And if that's the case, you scan the number, in this case, from the absent side, and you don't start tallying significant figures until you reach the first non-zero number. So in here, I scan this way, I scan this way, I reach a zero, but it's not, but it's a zero. I didn't reach a non-zero digit yet, so I just skip it. I hit the one. That's a non-zero digit. That's a significant uh, digit in part of the part of the value. And I keep going till the end. And the five is significant. Two sig figs. Here, if I look at it, and again I pretend the number is a a very poorly drawn representation of the U.S. Is the decimal present? Is it physically written? Yeah, it is. I see it. What are you coming from Pacific side? And if I come in from the Pacific side, zero. Is it significant? No, it's a zero. Zero. Is it significant? No, it's not. Three. Yes. Six. Yes. Those are significant. This has two significant figures which we already knew. This number, instead of doing it scientific notation, I think of an Atlantic Pacific side, is the decimal present? The answer is no. The decimal is absent, so I come in from this side. I come in from this side, this is not significant. I come in here, I reach a non-zero number, so this is significant. And here's the thing, once that tally begins, everything thereafter is continued to be significant. So this is significant, this is significant, this is significant as we go across the number, you have four sig figs. Lastly, here, it's a wide United States, but Decimal is present. Sorry, I got these little marks here. Decimal's present, there it is. I'm gonna come in this side. But wrong. Whoa! Sorry. Decimal's present. I come in from the Pacific side. Coming from here. Non-zero. No, so that's a zero. Skip it, zero, skip it, zero, skip it, zero, skip it. Hey, non-zero. Significant, significant, significant. And once that tally begins, Everything thereafter is significant. I don't care if this number is a happy face. If it's part of the number, it's still significant. I joke, but you get what I'm saying. So this would have four significant figures. Yeah, how does a zero end up being significant on the end of a value? Well, there are special cases. This can happen. Going back to the theory of significant figures, say I measure something on a ruler, 0, 100, um, and something lands on 50. 
And let's say, and let's let's make this um, a ruler that goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Let's say it skips by units of 10. There's no other divisions in between. Let's say something is exactly, as far as you can tell, it lands exactly on 50. Exactly. And we're like, okay, well, I know this is 50. I know that it's not 51. I don't have to guess. It's not in between marks. I know it's not 49. It's not in between. And so it's definitely 50. And what that zero was going to do is tell us that the guess wasn't needed. But I can't leave it like this because if I were to lift, leave it 50 centimeters, somebody might assume it's only one sig fig. So you have to do something special. In whole numbers, you either have to put 50.0, or 50 point, I'm sorry, that would say, hey, decimal present, the zero counts. And that's awkward to write 50 with a The other way to do it is also just as awkward is to write it like this. But sometimes that zero can be significant if, in fact, and indeed, the value um, hit a line on the scale and you didn't have to guess in between the lines. So sometimes those ending zeros are significant. Another version of this would be instead of this being whole numbers, what if this was 0 0.10, 0 0 0.20, 0 0.40, 0.50, 0.60, 0.70, 0.80, 0.90, and 1.0? What if it was that kind of scale? Same thing. This would be 0 0.50. And what we could do now is say back up I made a mistake I'm not even going to cut out I, I should go back and cut it out I'm not what if the scale my bad was 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 and 1.0 Now, if it's exactly on the 0.5, we would say 0 0.5. We didn't have to guess between 0.5 and 0.6. We didn't have to guess between 0.4 and 0.5. So we didn't use, if this is exactly on that 0.5 line, you did not have to use the guessing spot again. So in order to tell the reader you didn't have to use that guessing spot, you put a 0. Two significant figures. This is the known value. And hey, I could have had to guess, but I didn't have to guess, so I left it as a zero. But that's significant. And if you do the Atlantic Pacific rule, again, you're coming from the present side. The, 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 the decimal side is present. The Pacific side, significant, significant. Two significant figures. OK? Hope that makes sense. There's one more thing we got to do, but I'm going to take a little break.